Welcome to my utmost for His Highest for February 24th. The Delight of Sacrifice. Let's look at 2 Corinthians 12, 15. 2 Corinthians 12, 15 says, So I will very gladly spend for you everything I have and expend myself as well. If I love you more, will you love me less? The Delight of Sacrifice. Once the love of God has been poured out in our hearts by the Holy Spirit, we deliberately begin to identify ourselves with Jesus Christ's interest and purpose in others' lives, Romans 5.5. 5. And Jesus has an interest in every individual person. We have no right in Christian service to be guided by our own interests and desires. In fact, this is one of the greatest tests of our relationship with Jesus Christ. The delight of sacrifice is that I lay down my life for my friend, Jesus. See John 15, 13. I don't throw my life away, but I willingly and deliberately lay it down for him and his interests in other people. And I do this for no cause or purpose of my own. Paul spent his life for only one purpose, that he might win people to Christ Jesus. Paul always attracted people to his Lord, but never to himself. He said, I have become all things to all men, that I might by all means save some. 1 Corinthians 9.22 When someone thinks that to develop a holy life he must always be alone with God, he is no longer of use to others. That is true. This is like putting himself on a pedestal and isolating himself from the rest of society. Paul was a holy person, but wherever he went, Jesus Christ was always allowed to help himself to his life. Many of us are interested only in our own goals, and Jesus cannot help himself to our lives. But if we are totally surrendered to him, we have no goals of our own to serve. Paul said that he knew how to be a doormat without resenting it. We tend to be devoted not to Jesus Christ, but to the things which allow us more spiritual freedom than total surrender to him would allow. Freedom was not Paul's motive at all. In fact, he stated, I wish that I myself were accursed from Christ for my brethren. Romans 9.3 Had Paul lost his ability to reason? Not at all. For someone who is in love, this is not an overstatement, and Paul was in love with Jesus Christ. That was really an interesting way to put all of that. And I love that line about how God can't help himself to us. And so if we're all about our goals and what we want and what's the best for us, then God can't use us, right, to be helping other people. Sometimes God moves us around to different places. Sometimes he gives us different abilities or hardships. And all of these things, I believe that he is using so that then we can be reaching out to other people. But if we don't allow the good things and the trials, if we don't allow our gifts to be used for him, if we're just holding all these things for ourselves and our money and our time and our talents, then we're of no use for God, right? To help other people around. But when we say, God, use my different talents, use my money, I give you my time. When we give all of that back to God, then he can use us to help other people. So I really like that. I'm going to live more today allowing God to help himself to me and to be able to use and direct my life to help those around me. That's a great way to live. I hope you join me and I'll see you back here tomorrow. You can order your own copy of the My Utmost for His Highest devotional book by going to utmost.org. And I would love to answer any questions you may have about faith in Jesus. Just email me through my website, nancyjoytoyou.com. And I hope you go out and shine for him today. See you tomorrow.